both of us have a big birthday, one with a zero on the end, we might throw a party, head to the pub, or maybe just, I don't know, stay at home and cry. <laughs> For hours on end. Yeah. But Beverly Knight is marking her 50th birthday in spectacular fashion. How is she doing it? With a UK tour. She's also just released a new album. Now, before we speak to her, let's hear a couple of Beverly's classic hits and her latest single. Beverly's here with us on the sofa now. Oh my goodness. Can I just first of all say I loved watching you on Strictly on Saturday because you, you really enjoyed it. I could tell. Oh, I did. I yes. did. I didn't realise the camera was still on me going, that was fun. That yes. was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. But when you're enjoying it, we all enjoy it more. Exactly. And that's my, that is, if, if, if something was written on my epitaph, not yet, yeah. um, that would be it. I'm enjoying it, so I want you guys to enjoy it too. That's the whole point of why I do what I do. It's entertainment. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm supposed to be a joy giver, and I can't do that unless I'm joyful myself. So I try and bring that energy everywhere I go. I try. You must still be enjoying it because there's another album. Another album. <laughs> yeah. Indeed there is, yes. Um, the fifth chapter. I'm, I could not be more proud and more pleased with the fact that people still want to hear new music from me. So um, I thought I'd celebrate my 50th year, so I called it the fifth chapter, and uh, just, yeah, brought that celebration and that feeling of having a second wind in my career and my life onto, onto record. Is that I what it feels that. like, a, a, a reboot? Yeah, reboot, I like that. That's exactly it. It's, um, you know, you, you get to a stage in your life where you feel as though, OK, I've, I've accomplished certain things. OK, what next? What next? And then it's almost like the universe goes, right, I'm going to give you a shove in this direction. Just go with it and trust the process. And here we are with another album. Well, that's interesting. Now, what do you mean by that? You mean it like it just kind of came at you? Yeah, I, as, as that the Big 50 was coming, I found myself, instead of thinking, oh, my God, I'm dreading this, I found myself going, it's great. This is a reason to celebrate. This is... It's a privilege to be at this age, you know? And, and to still have health and strength and everything. So I thought, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to celebrate that in every way that I know how. And for me, that means music. And has the music changed, do you think? Has it evolved? Have you, are you singing about different things now? Um, the, well, the, the message... Um, does change inevitably. You get older and you can say things which, you know, with a bit of wisdom. I'm, I'm, I must say, um, it's songwriters who have the, the spotlight on this record. My voice kind of knits it all together, but um, I've been so busy, so I've had songwriters come in and just help me craft. Um, but that there's a message of strength, empowerment, joy, celebration, standing by myself and, and celebrating all things, you know, with a maturity. I love the fact that when you decided to make an album, you were like, I'm really busy. <laughs> I've not necessarily got time to do all this myself. So you kind of put the word out that you needed songwriters to get in touch with you, and boy, did they. They did, they did, and I am eternally grateful. I have some great... Uh, talents, um, people like Laura White, who um, famously was in X Factor and now has this amazing songwriting career. She wrote a, a song for me, along with Pete Vale. Uh... The legend that is Diane Warren, um, 
wrote two songs for me, which just glorious, and lots of other people, Ali Tennant and uh, Serban Kazan, who is an up-and-coming Romanian writer, who did the first two singles. Um, it's been a joy to, to have songwriters celebrated. Uh, we have your single, I think, and we can play it for everybody now. Systematic Overload is the single. Yes. And you, you can tell how much you're enjoying this, this time in your life just watching yeah. the video. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's wonderful. I think the thing for me with that particular video is um, the fact that it's AI and there's lots of deep fake versions of me and I'm dressed as like a super bev warrior walking through this psychedelic, colourful world. Um, but it's someone of my generation using something which is so cutting edge and so now um, and it was put together by um, a fabulous young guy called Eden Tarn and my husband James and they that that's their vision they got together and created this world for me and all I had to do was just walk so it so says your husband is creating a different version of you yeah. I'd, be, I'd be quite unnerved by that. <laughs> <laughs> what did he want to create? Well, he, he created the, the AI world um, along with Eden. Um, and then the rest is very firmly me. Very firmly me. <laughs> You're not just changing walking, me. Walking. Yeah. You're not changing me. It's just different versions of me. And in terms of the tour, that really is going to be this version of you, isn't it? What's it going to be Absolutely. like to be seeing fans, talking to oh. people, being back in touch? We went through a pandemic that was really hard, especially that second lockdown, that was tough. And so to interact with fans again, me as me, not, you know, dressed up in, as a different character, but just me as me is probably the greatest joy of it all. Um, I'm happiest when I'm on stage and to be able to have that two-way giving of energy and then everybody goes home happy, I can't think of anything that gives greater, greater joy and fulfilment than that. It's that joy giver in you again, isn't it? You were talking yeah. about earlier with, 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 with the music. Do you, think, do, do you think there's a different kind of joy, a different level of joy that mm. you receive back from the audience now? Because we maybe appreciate live events in a way that we, we kind of got used to. We took them for granted before the pandemic. It's funny, I think we all did, you know, going to concerts or going to theatre, going to, you know, clubs or, or, or whatever, the, the nighttime industries. Um, when they stopped, and they stopped abruptly, um, all of us were sat home thinking, oh, that yearning to, to, to just go out and, and do things. And then we realised just how important those industries are. And not just um, those that are front-facing, you know, what I do, but all the other industries that feed from that, you know, whether it be uh, the people who will clean the venues, the security or, or, or costume designers or, or, or whatever, you know, lighting um, operators. There's so much that just came to a halt. And now it's like... We're celebrating them all and we appreciate all of them. Do you feel like maybe you changed mentally slightly at, at that point because we all have to appreciate things a little bit more now and there is something, isn't there, about reaching a milestone birthday where well, yeah. you do have to be really grateful? Yeah, so many people, um, wonderful, great people, you know, they don't quite make it to this age group and I think to myself, it is a privilege that I'm still here and able to do what I do, do it to this level. Um, and, you know, I, I, every day I have to remind myself, this is a privilege, it's not a right. So, um, you know, have that gratitude in my spirit every day, you know, that's what I do, that's what I try and practise. Performing, touring as you, talking about different versions of yourself, but you're also acting. I mean, you've really embraced the whole acting thing. Oh. That has been a whole new <laughs> trip, which has been amazing. Um, I acted as a child, but of the, amateur, you know, back home, um, standing on stage at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre, I never thought 
that that would lead to the West End and, and beyond. And, and uh, here I am, 10 years into the professional journey, um, and it's it's been wonderful. You know, the, the theatre community has really embraced me. Um, and it, again, you know, something else that I can add to my career. Another part of you? Another part of me, <laughs> another version of Bev. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you here. Uh, super warrior Bev. Uh, uh, <laughs> great to have you. Beverly's new album is called The Fifth Chapter. You are watching Breakfast. It is exactly 8.59.